Hashtag Bastro! Hello everyone and welcome to Seduce Me the Episodes! Hey! We've all seen this before anyways, at least. I don't know if any of y'all remember, but in the first Seduce Me the Ultimate, the uh, creator released an episode for Stam specifically, which was the Shall We Dance one. And so yeah, I'm, I totally forgot that you know, these existed, and then after I recorded the very final episode of Seduce Me to the Ultimate, I was like, oh right, there wasn't there like episodes and shit like that? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, okay, cool, we should, I should probably do those because, you know, I did one for Sam because he has one, but now since there's more for the other Incubi brothers, it's like, might as well do them too. So we all know from, you know, Sam, Sam specifically was the Shall We Dance one, and he's all, he was all like, you know, making us dress up as pretty princesses and he you know we come down with all the other brothers being total wingmans to him and he's dressed up all princely and shit and he's all like would you dance if i asked you to dance and we were like okay enrique <laughs> so we like you know he took up you know he, we floated up into space in the night sky and that's what he proposed to us and he's all like i can be your hero baby and we we're like yeah, yeah hell yeah okay so yeah that's what ended up happening in the shall we dance version of sam's after episode story or after story whatever the fuck you want to call it and now we are here with um, James's after story, which is newly released after the second Ultimate, after the second Seduce Me to the Ultimate was released. So yeah, and his is called A Lesson in Romance. Oh my gosh, we're gonna, we're gonna get romantic. Hashtag Bastro in the corner right here. And so yeah, without further ado, let's start. Oh, we won't enter a name. We're gonna stick with Hannah because, you know, we, we went through this journey as Hannah, so we're gonna be Hannah. So imagine, if you will, you live in a gorgeous mansion with the man of your dreams. Hell fucking yeah, it's already sounding hella good. You can do anything you have ever wanted and there was nothing in the world that could hold you back. Okay, sounds good. Well, that was my life. Well then, don't need to rub it in my face. God. I was the granddaughter of a CEO and had somehow earned his estate upon his death. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that's like a good thing or not, but like whatever. More power to you, I guess. The man of my dreams just happened to be waiting for me in the lobby of the mansion as I moved in. Uh, yes. Mind you, he was mortally wounded and he turned out to be a demon, but that was beside the point. Ex yeah, I figured that's where it was going. Uh, the man of my dreams, James, was smart, kind, caring, and very capable of taking care of not only me, but his four younger brothers. The five of them lived with me for a short while, making the house as lively as ever. Yucky. Uh, however, I only needed James at my side, and soon enough, the younger four brothers left us to our own devices, wanting to start lives of their own. Yes, they all moved out. All left the bird's nest. Living with James was like a dream come true. He always cooked breakfast and helped me keep the house clean. And during his free time, he tended the garden. There were often times when he and I would eat in the gazebo outside, enjoying the sun and fresh air. Wow, don't you live the life, God. Work-wise, James had taken the position of CEO at my grandfather's toy company and helped expand it to new heights. He did his very best to make it the best company it could be and wound up raising more money for charity than any other company on the planet. They're on the planet, not even in the country, but on the planet. Hot damn. Uh, needless to say, I was very proud of him and was happy to know that my grandfather's company was in good hands. The hella good hands. He he manages to make this the top company in the pl on the planet. Like who <laughs> who can possibly do that? I was even more happy to call him mine. Yes, go you. Go me. Go us. Yes. <laughs> James and I had lived a dreamlike romance for a year and a half. The thought of marriage often crossed my mind, but I left it to the hand to the hands of fate. If James was going to propose to me, then he would do it when he was ready. Oh, okay, so timeline-wise, um, this is the start of their official relationship, I guess. So after the events of Seduce Me, wait, but did, but wasn't the first, wait, hold on, hold on, wasn't the ending of Seduce Me the first game, like if we did James's route, he actually does end up proposing? Is this like the lull between that? before that so it's like a little bit before he proposes which is like the end of the seduce me game because in the second seduce me two, in the second game seduce me too that's when they actually were preparing for marriage but here she's like eh, i don't know about marriage like it crossed my mind but you know whatever i'm not 
I'm not, you know, too worried about it. Huh, okay, all right. Nevertheless, the conversation we were having, oh, uh, nevertheless, the conversation we would have were interesting to say the least. Okay. All right, one day I found him lounging in the library, lost in a familiar book. With a smirk, I crept inside and peered over his shoulder at the, cha at the chapter he was reading. What you reading? Mm? What you reading? None of that, you know, Fifty Shades of Grey, right? You really like that book, don't you, James? Uh, jumping in his seat, James snapped out of his train of thought and stared up at me in surprise, making me laugh and grip the chair to keep from falling onto my knees from the hilarity. L love! I... I, uh... Oh. Oh, you're reading a, a dirty, erotic romance now, aren't you? Aren't you? Hey, <laughs> try to hide it from me? Haha, <laughs> good afternoon to you too, James. Enjoying that story? I bet you are. I smiled playfully at James before taking the book out of his hands and looking at the cover. I was right. Is this, is it? Is this, is this the next 50, 50 Shades of Grey? Is this some next seduce me version of 50 Shades of Grey? Love and Romance, a study of intimacy. Okay, so it's more of like a... A what? What's it called? An essay kind of book? Whatever? <clears throat> James cleared his throat as he shook his head and relaxed in his chair, trying to calm down from his sudden surprise outburst. You are, uh, you keep coming back to this book no matter how many times, um, no matter how many others you read. Why? Yeah, why? It's an interesting commentary on romance. A writer falling in love with their manager and dealing with her own internal feelings is an interesting topic to read about. Oh, yeah? So... So is this a romantic novel? Okay, so it's not an essay? It's not like a scientific kind of essay? Alright. Whatever. Truly? Ren, truly? I handed the book back to James before walking around and sitting on the empty seat across from his... Across from his, yeah. James nodded and placed the book down on the table between us while he crossed his legs. Remember, demons don't fully understand love. We may experience it, but we don't know it well enough to label it as such. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, Diana went on about that. She was very adamant on it. Uh, but you understand it, right? Theory-wise, theory, whatever it's written, you know. Of course, but that doesn't mean that I shouldn't continue to read about it. Okay, alright. <laughs> uh, I guess you're right, but what does reading that book over and over do for your research on it, right? Like, you know, there's other materials too. <laughs> James chuckled and leaned back in, and leaned back in his chair, okay? That book in particular shows the balance between love and lust. Which, by contrast, is an emotion demons understand completely. Uh-huh, okay, alright. Fascinating. Completely, I'm sure there are some things even you don't understand if demons don't understand love, right? Provoked by my statement, uh, James raises his eyebrow with an almost amused- with an om- with almost- with an almost amused grin. There. Is that a challenge? Maybe. Maybe. Fight me. For a moment, I remember James's powerful personality. This was a challenge of his, uh, a challenge of his intelligence, and such a dare would not remain undominated for long under his keen eye. Yes, low-key competitive. As I mulled over the idea in the following seconds of silence, I could only find myself entertained by the idea of him trying to prove himself to me. Yes. To that, I smirked and lifted my chin a bit in a small taunting display. Yeah. And if it was. What you gonna do? Oh, <laughs> what you gonna do about it? The moment James smirked at me and licked his lips ever so slightly made me question everything in the form of loud screaming in my head. What did I throw myself into? Huh? Well, we're gonna commit now. We're gonna go big, or we're gonna go home, or back to our room. <laughs> Still, my face remained unfazed, and I continued to stand my ground as James replied, "Yes, too in too deep already." Then tell me, what could I possibly not know? Good question. <laughs> I stared at James for the longest time before settling into my seat, crossing my legs. If this was going to be a lesson in romance, then this is going to be one where I was I was the teacher. Okay, what you gonna do, girl? What do you got in mind? Alright then, do you know what's the sexiest thing sexiest thing a person can do for another? Other than sex? That's a bit specific. I know, but like still, you gotta know. You gotta know. I promise there's only one answer. Okay, yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of lost though. That was the lie. There was obviously more than one answer, but I hoped that he would draw the answer from our relationship rather than just form a generic answer. Either way, I would get him. Oh, okay, so she's just basically quizzing him. Just be like, 
You know, those like top 10 sexiest things that women find attractive on men or what they do or whatever the hell, some shit like that. Something from Cosmo. <laughs> Cosmopolitan or some shit like that. James sat back and closed his eyes, thinking to himself and assembling his answer. As he opened his eyes, he smiled. What? Make them feel cared for and cherished beyond anything else in the world. Okay, you right, in some aspect. His answer surprised me. I imagined him trying to weasel out of the answer with a gesture or a specific action. As his words hit me, my cheeks burned a soft pink in agreement. It was rather sexy to think about. Yes. All that TLC got me so hot. The, feeling of his the feelings of his hands along my body would make me feel like a goddess worthy enough to be ravished. The kisses on my skin would paint me in a glow of love and compassion. The way he held me always sent me to cloud nine. Yes. He had won this round. You win this time! <laughs> I nodded pers I nodded, pursing my lips as his smirk grew a bit. He interlaced his fingers and placed them on his knee, awaiting my next question. This had become a game of trivia almost. Would he know all the answers? Hey, this- but this trivia thing is like really... I don't know, open-ended? Like, yeah. It's like, you can- he can possibly be right on like multiple levels. I pushed forward, now determined to prove that I was right. Okay, girl, whatever you whatever you say. Okay, but what about sexy clothes? Not lingerie. What about them? Yeah. So, uh, what gets me all hot and bothered? <laughs> what color clothes should a person wear to attract someone? Ah, this is scientifically proven, isn't it? Red? Red, isn't it? Right? Right? Another trick question, this is all a matter of opinion. It didn't take long for James to reply. It depends on the person they wish to attract. Okay. Well, scientifically speaking, apparently we're more attracted to the color red. I don't know. I don't know. I read it somewhere. <laughs> As James' eyes traveled up and down my form, I suddenly felt naked. Hey, now, undressing me with your eyes. I personally would love to see you in black. Perhaps gold or red. What about all of that? <laughs> all of those colors? Damn it, he won again, but at least I knew what to wear if I ever wanted to seduce him into bed. I shook my thoughts out and knuckled down on my de on my determination. I would not be beaten. God damn it, girl. <laughs> I uncrossed my legs and leaned over my knees, face as stone cold as a statue. James raised an amused eyebrow once again as I threw a volley of questions at him, hoping to throw him off. Okay? Giving or receiving? Is it both? <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> Giving. Okay. Nightgowns or teddies? Now it's just a this or that. Okay. Nothing at all. <laughs> okay. Alright, getting smart with me. Okay, good good answer though. Good answer. Kitchen or shower? Everywhere. <laughs> Both. Okay, good. Yeah, I figured. God damn. <laughs> you freak. I was going crazy at the ideas forming in my head. This game of question and answer became one that heightened my lib libido in the most sh uh, shameless way shameless of ways still i would not give in my god girl oh man the questions became about our relationship more than just general romance and lust the more he answered the more i learned about him i would use his responses to my advantages later but for now the harvest for answers continued okay we still going sensual or rough uh moderate <laughs> i don't know depends on how we feel yeah, oh, okay. Mm, okay. Fast or slow? Isn't it the same as the last answer? Start slow, then get faster. Oh my god, girl. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Handcuffs or blindfolds? Both. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Both. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew that I knew that would happen. Both. Best of both worlds. James instantly covered his mouth with his hand, the slip escaping his lips and making his true feelings known alongside the embarrassed blush crossing his cheeks. As his answer rung in my ears, my entire face became beet red. What? I would expect that. <laughs> not gonna lie, like, even though it's James that we're talking about, it's just like, come on, why not both? <laughs> James was in both- James was into both handcuffs and blindfolds? What about other kinky things? Yeah, I mean, I went, mm? <laughs> Girl! Oh, wh whips? Rods? Oh my gosh, we gonna go- we gonna go there. James shook his head, so he wasn't into any sort of violent play. No, I don't think so. Uh, being called master? 
Mm, silence. It made sense. Him liking the play on his dominance. Okay. Yeah. yeah it makes sense. Yeah. BDSM. Maybe light. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, James closed his eyes and sighed into his palm before it fell to his lap and he lowered his head. As he spoke, I could tell he was being uh, he was being frank with me, dissolving his shame as he was speaking to the one he loved. Yeah, exactly. This is just a normal conversation between, you know, us as a couple. And we've engaged in, like, you know, intimacy before. So what's the, you know, what's there to hide? It's not something demons do, but I enjoy learning about it and imagining it. Oh, I bet you do. You dirty freak. <laughs> Where did you learn about it? Oh, books. <laughs> James chuckled softly, shaking his head. I bet it's books. A novel I read a long time ago. It was a study on fictional romance and the publishing of erotica in the last ten years. It wound up in the piles of books I read when we first came to the human world. Oh, yeah, so you were on that way before you met me. Huh. Damn. That explained it. However, I almost didn't expect it from James. Eric, maybe, but not James. Nah, Eric, we already learned that he's more of a... He's He has that front, but then he's more of a sweetie underneath it all. Looking at him, I could tell James was trying to come come to terms with releasing this information to me. While he was talking to the one he loved, he knew that topic was a pretty big one to drop in the game we were previously playing. I don't... I, personally, I don't really mind. I'm open to anything. It, up for discussion. I didn't want to make him feel uncomfortable about it, so I spoke up again. Hey, I'm not judging you. Goddamn. Are you interested in trying it? You know? For a moment, James didn't answer. When he did, I could tell that he was being open about it, now that I knew of his true feelings for it. I would be lying if I said no. Okay, yeah, alright. That settles that. James looked back up at me, his expression neutral in an attempt to remain uh, calm. I leaned back in my chair and closed my eyes. This game definitely taught me a lot of new things about James, right? <laughs> a lesson in romance, more like, what's your kink? What are you into? <laughs> Would I pursue this information and try it with him? That was up to me to decide later on. For now, though, our game had ended and it was unclear who had won between us. I had gotten my answers and the last question threw both of us off. Uh, how would we determine the winner? Uh, we're both winners. I don't know. <laughs> I finally decided to stand up and walk over to James, letting him watch me as I sat on his lap, wrapping my arms around his neck and leaning my forehead against his. <laughs> Maybe you do know everything. Maybe. James finally relaxed and nuzzled my nose when, uh, with his before kissing me softly. Well, not everything. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Cue sexy time music. Okay, okay. Huh? Where, where is this going? I still have a lot to learn about you. Right, because we were the one who was doing the interrogating and a asking the questions. Alright. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, me? Uh, <clears throat> no. That's rude. That's a little rude. That's, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Can't have that. No, I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> Jane stared deep into my eyes, leaning back and removing his glasses. As his, whis as his whiskey eyes began to glow a soft golden color, I gasped as he smiled playfully at me. Now, now. Now, now. Hey, now. <laughs> it's only fair that I ask you the same questions that you asked me. Don't you think? Yes, true. But did, did you... Girl. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'll play. I'm game. I'm game. <laughs> I stared wide-eyed at James. Was he seriously going to ask me the same questions I asked him? James chuckled lowly. What? Are you afraid now? No. I'm game. Come at me. Fight me. No. No. Just because you removed your glasses and shit and be looking at me with sexy eyes like that. Tousled hair and shit. Nah. <laughs> Good. Because I don't intend to be gentle. Okay, girl. Whatever you say. <laughs> oh shit! Me too. Same, same. Oh shit! <laughs> oh damn! God damn! God damn, girl! God damn! God damn! Oh my god! Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. All right. Okay. All right. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> okay. 
So that's that. That's James's little episode. Seduce me, a lesson in romance. Like I said, <laughs> a lesson in romance. More like a let's see what you're into, kink wise. Okay, James. Anyways, that's that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna. Should I do this in separate episodes? Like, should I have one episode for James and then one episode because? I think so far the releases are is there's one for James, one for Eric, one for Diana. Yes, one for Diana, and then and then there's a beach episode, obligatory beach episode, and then there's a holiday one. But I don't want to do the holiday one. I might save it just you know when the occasion is right. So I'm gonna probably save the holiday one. Um, so that leaves around three. Three of them left, and the, did, that, did that take like at least around 20 minutes, maybe even less than that? Hmm. Okay, I might, I might just do this in one separate episode for each, each of them, just because I don't want things to get squished in together, and to like, I don't know. It's just to keep things organized, I guess. So, anyways, yeah. I need, and plus, I need time to recover. So yeah, there's that. There's. James's episode, so uh, tune in next time, and we're going to do Eric's, which is, I think, uh, I can't remember what the title is specifically, but yeah, we're going to do Eric's episode in the next, and yeah, in the next episode, yeah, but then, until then, uh, yeah, just <laughs> go take a cold shower, all y'all, and yeah, bye!